Here's the whole small ball philosophy on preflop raising. Popular theory is that a standard size preflop raise is three times the big blind. So with blinds at 400, 800 with a 100 ante, that would mean you'd be risking 2,400 to win 2,100 at a typical nine-handed table. That's a decent return on your investment if no one calls the raise. If you did that two hands in a row, and on hand number one, everyone folded, but on hand number two, someone went all in, forcing you off the hand, your net loss would only be 300. That's not a terribly poor result, but look what happens when we lower the size of the raise to 2.5 times the blind. Now you'd be risking 2,000 in order to win 2,100. If we simplify the game to the point where all you would be doing during a tournament is raising to 2.5 times the blind and then just fold if anyone ever calls, it is possible to build your stack provided that all your opponents fold 50% or more before the flop. Think about it. On hand number one, you make it 2000 and everyone folds. You pick up the $2,100 pot. On hand number two, you go for another steal attempt, only this time the player on your left re-raised you 10000 more. If you were raising with trash and fold, you'd lose back 2000 Obviously, the more aggressive you become pre-flop, that will lower the percentage of the time that everyone folds pre-flop. If people view you as a loose player, they will likely defend their blinds with more marginal hands than had you been a tight player. That's not bad for you either. More often than not, you'll be in position against your opponent and will have one more opportunity to earn this pot after the flop. That's a concept I'll build on during the coming sections.